meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Keep the umbrella handy heading out this evening and eh, probably going to need it in the next couple of days. Not all the time, but eh, keep it around. You see these showers, they've been kind of drifting in from the north and west. We'll continue to see those drift in our direction. Right now, we're getting mostly light stuff. You get some moderate showers in southern parts of York and Adams counties. Once in a while, we may even hear a rumble of thunder along the Mason Dixon line, but I doubt there's much in the way of, of that this evening. Temperatures were quite mild. They are starting to cool a little bit. There's cooler air coming in from the north and from the east, and that's eventually going to bring us some cool, damp weather. You can see it is raining in Lebanon on Lebanon Sky Cam. The rain drops are, are certainly there, and it's going to uh, stay kind of cool as we go through the next couple of days. Right now, though, not bad. 60 with that rain in Lebanon, dew point of 56 degrees. Winds are at last report on the comm side. So as we go through the evening, we head to Cornwall for the forecast for this evening. Mostly cloudy, scattered light showers, a few thunder showers are possible. We'll get out of the 60s, start sliding back into the 50s this evening. And then overnight tonight, I think we're down in the 40s to around 50 degrees. It'll turn a little cooler as winds switch out of the east and northeast. And then they'll stay out of the east and that comes in off the ocean. And yeah, it's a little cool and damp and overcast, a little rain or drizzle now and then. I don't think it's going to be pouring all day, but at any time it could rain. And look at those temperatures. Quite a difference. Good 20 degrees difference from today's numbers. Uh, here's pollen count. We are seeing some higher readings there. The tree pollens are out now. Most spores are low. Air quality tomorrow is good. And the UV index, don't worry about that. That's probably going to be pretty cloudy, so I think it'll be on the low side. So we see these 60 degree readings go by the wayside as the cooler air starts to slip in. We're down in the 50s by 10 o'clock, and then in the 40s overnight. And you notice. The blues are pretty patchy. It's just going to be light stuff and, and, and pretty spotty. Same thing through tomorrow. We're in the 40s once again. We get tomorrow night. Maybe we even dip down into the 30s and then only get in the 40s again on Thursday. And there'll be those patchy areas of some more rain around, but it's not going to rain all the time. So a couple of cool ones coming our way. Then by Friday, we jump up in temperatures, a good 15, 20 degrees, but that's ahead of a cold front. Could bring some scattered thunder showers. More good news, though. I think it clears out as we go through the weekend. It'll turn a bit cooler. Still not bad with temperatures in the 50s and 60s as we go on through the weekend. So looking pretty good. Next chance shower is probably coming about Tuesday. Hey, we could use some kids' art. You can send us your kids' art to WGAL Post Office Box 7127, Lancaster 17605.